Hello, everybody. This is Angela, your friendly neighborhood, California Mojave Gardener here. And this is what I did earlier today. You see this bed that got soil in it? I am putting water all up in it, trying to loosen it up, child, trying to loosen that soil because I'm going to use that soil. So then when I'm going to start raking, which you're about to see, you see, just the top soil is wet. The bottom soil isn't. So I actually did it a couple of times. I needed to loosen that up because I'm going to use that soil, child. Yes, I am. No soil go to waste, honey. This is potting mix. I am going to use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some verliculi, some perlite, some blood and bone meal, some... What is that stuff called? <laughs> Honey, it is called chicken manure. I put some of that in it. I put some perlite in it. I put some peat moss in it. Don't play with me. You are about to see it. And let me tell you, all this stuff that I am pulling up, those are all roots from my kale that did not compost in this soil. So I just went ahead and said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take that up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to put my amenities in. There go my amenities right there. And what you see on top that you're going to see me keep throwing in there, that is my peat moss. My peat moss was hard, honey. I had to put the knife into it. Do you hear me to loosen it up? Look at them big old pieces. Then I'm going to break them down. You know, I don't want my radishes or anything to get in the way. All right. Now, this is the potting mix that I used. Yes, it's organic. It's by Kellogg. Kellogg sorry. It is called Raised Bed Potting Mix. Not soil. You want the mix, baby, because the mix is lighter. The mix is fluffier. The soil, baby, that stuff will compact down so hard you might not have nothing growing in all of that. Believe me, I have learned my lesson. Make sure you have your garden knife on you, honey. And now I'm getting ready to get busy and mix this up. Yes, pull out my favorite rake, but unfortunately it wasn't doing the job because I had to get down to the root of Tudor, honey. I got to, had to go down low. I had to drop it like it's hot. Do you hear what I'm saying to you, baby? I'm going to have to switch this out. This ain't getting where I want it to go. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at all that. I wasn't playing. Look, at, I had to pull out the hand tool, baby bubble. Yes, I did. Look at me go. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going down to the rooter and the tutor. I'm getting it all. You got to mix it up. Some people say just mix up about two to three um, inches. No, 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 baby bubble. I'm going to mix it from the rooter to the tutor. You hear what I'm saying? I want all my soil mixed up. Do not play with me. I think that's why my collards was doing so well. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Well, all of this, I was planning on using it for my radishes, but I said, nah, I don't want to have the problem of the pest. So I am going to go ahead and use this all this soil, all of it, look at it, it's a lot of soil for something else. Yes, I am. As I mix it in good, I am going to put my radishes inside of a container. All right. Now, you see these collards? You see these collards? I got four plants left. You got to loosen up the soil that's already there. That soil is already there, honey. I haven't put no amendments in it. Because I'm like, why should I have to keep putting 511 in super juice? Which I am going to do. But in the meantime and in between time, every time I water, every time it rains, even if one day... Two to three weeks and I don't 
water. It's okay, baby. Because I go, go have nutrients. Now, right here, I have salted water. And as you can see, there are collard greens growing off the stems, the little baby ones. So I'm going to use those. I'm not throwing those away. So I'm taking them off, putting them down in salted water to kill the aphids and the spiders and anything else. Look at that right there. Gently just pop it off. <laughs> yes, yes. She said yes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that soil. Now watch me. Boom. There you go. That soil is going to be good stuff. You know why? Because all those amendments, she ain't lacking nothing. She got potassium. She got niacin. She got, huh? She got some of everything. Now, you know, she going to shoot off, right? She going to shoot off even more because she already done shot off with the rain from it raining all day and all night. She shot off. She really going to shoot off now. Quit playing with me look at this yes you put it all over but you also put it on top where you know those roots are i knew where my roots were because it was just leaning like the tower of pisa and then when i push it to straighten it up you see the roots so i knew you go ahead and cover all that because i'm gonna tell you something when she get her first water she gonna be like hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Because you know she going to be in her happy place, okay? And then tomorrow what I plan on doing is doing my seventh harvest. I kept saying to y'all I was going to do my seventh. But I said, you know what? Wait, let me give her a little flavor. Let me give her. Please ignore the white legs. I am going to give her vitamins, minerals, so she can give me vitamins, minerals. You see what I'm saying? You give it to her, she pop it right back to you. I'm in love. I love it. And you see the volume of the soil. It's getting more soil. The reason why she kept falling over is because I didn't put enough soil in her. I think I gave her about, what, four inches of soil, three inches of soil. That's why she's been falling over. So I am so glad. Look at that. Look at that. That is all the soil <laughs> I have left. And I used every single bit of it. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Do you hear me? I found out that collard greens is the easiest thing to grow. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. Now you want to smooth it out just a little bit. Smooth it out. You don't want no hills and no valleys, you know, because that's what water collect. You want the water to be smooth all over. Just, just nice and even. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ah! Quit playing with me. Yes, yes. Believe me, if I could have filmed me doing a happy, happy, joy, joy dance, I would have. You see what I'm saying? Look it. They already know. They already getting ready. I feel it in my spirit. Now I put the mister on and let it take her time so she can get her drink drink you know so she went about 10 minutes with the mister on there and then i shifted it down to another area and she's getting nothing but love she's getting nothing but love she's gonna give me love you see those leaves i think they're gonna be a little darker tomorrow because she gonna suck it up she She going to suck it up. Now I got it on the flip side. All right. Now what I'm going to do is misting on the flip side right now. Now I am hitting it with some water. I'm checking in the middle for my for aphids and I'm blasting it with water. That's how I try to keep as many aphids as I possibly can 
off my collard greens. I hit her with water. I don't care what nobody say. I blast her. And if I see any, I blast them straight off. Yes, I do. And here comes the collard greens that I had taken out. And those I'm going to go ahead and give to my neighbor. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Hit the notification bell and share it. And I shall see you later.